Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly. A couple months ago, I asked on Sparkly Belly's Facebook group what everybody wanted to see on Sparkly Belly. And the most popular answer was plus size costuming tips. So here's my take on plus size costuming. I focused on three most common challenges that I hear often from Sparkly Belly readers and used their words to describe the challenges. These challenges are about different body parts, so even if you're not plus size, you may find these tips useful. So let's get started. Challenge number one. I want to hide my flabby upper arms. Many dancers want to hide their upper arms, but it's tricky because we use arms a lot in our dance movements, so we can't completely hide our arms. So what do we do? If you want small coverage, you can make loose sleeves like these Princess Jasmine style sleeves or ruffle sleeves that are attached to your shoulder straps. Adjust the width and length to increase or decrease the coverage. If you want fuller coverage, you can make a peasant crop top to wear underneath your costume bra or vest like this. Or you can create armbands with drape that hides your upper arms. Or you can create long poofy sleeves like these or convert this type of shrug into a looser bolero style top. Key is to use lightweight fabric like chiffon, lace, and mesh. That way you don't look completely covered. Play with textures and transparency to find the right balance for your body shape. Challenge number two. I have full hips and a little prominent low belly and I find it difficult to find a skirt that is tight enough to not fall and feel confident and that doesn't create rolls of fat around my hips. Plus size or not, muffin tops are a common challenge for belly dancers. For the waistband of your skirt, I like to avoid using elastic because elastic is what causes a muffin top. But then how do you keep your skirt up? First, for skirts that are tight around the hips like mermaid skirts, make sure it's nice and snug according to your size. If your skirt is made to your belt line measurement and hip measurement and the fabric has nice stretch, you don't need elastic to keep the skirt up. To make a perfectly fitting mermaid skirt, see my workshop. But there are times when the skirt is still too loose. Then add elastic only to the back of your skirt. Just by adding elastic to the back of your skirt, your skirt will feel much more sturdy around your waist. See my tutorial on adding elastic to the back of the skirt by creating a thread casing at the link in the description. If your skirt needs even more support and you must have elastic waistband all around, try using wide elastic. I've never tried this personally, but it's used commonly by curvy dancers. You can find 3 to 4 inch wide elastic in fabric stores and sew it on with a thread casing. Again, see my tutorial on making a thread casing at the link in the description. Another approach is a belly stocking. Make a belly stocking out of power mesh, which is awesome mesh fabric with great stretch. I have a tutorial on DIY belly stocking at the link in the description. A belly stocking not only offers coverage for your belly, but also acts as a very gentle corset or shaper. You can fix your skirt to your belly stocking with safety pins for extra hold. You can also play with drapes over belly as well. This is a super easy fix you can try with scrap fabric, and this look is trendy right now. Also, be mindful of the shape of your belt. If you wear a belt on top of your skirt, go for a belt that has a nice V-shape at the top edge. A belt with the straight edge tends to emphasize the horizontal line of your body, but the nice curved belt hides the horizontal line and elongates the look of your torso, and it helps smooth out your belly. And finally, if you're wearing a circle skirt, try tucking the size of your skirt to the size of your belt. 
This technique not only creates a fun visual interest for your costume, but it takes people's attention away from your muffin top to the fluffy, pretty layers of your skirt. This double layer reversible skirt is perfect for that. Check the link in the description for the tutorial. Challenge number three. I find it hard to make pretty bras since all decoration designs look too small or wonky. Also, I like to visually make my boobs smaller since they have a tendency to um, take over the show, so to say. I think this is a challenge that only dancers or performers can appreciate. It's frustrating when you're rocking your shimmy and notice everyone is looking at your chest. For large chested dancers, I recommend you go for full coverage bra as a base. I know using more coverage sounds like bringing more attention to your chest, but in fact what draws people's attention to your chest is your cleavage and jiggly skin above the bra cups. So don't be afraid to use a full coverage bra as a base, cover it with beautiful fabric and decorate as you like. A full coverage bra also creates an illusion of a narrower torso. Costuming is always about creating contrast and balance. In this case, a large area of fabrics make your torso appear smaller. If you pair it with fluffy circle skirt tacked on the sides of the belt, that's even better for the appearance of your belly. And it's a cute outfit. And yes, don't be afraid to use large stones and appliques. Because you have a larger canvas, you get to use dramatic decorations and they won't look overwhelming. Grapevine appliques are great for creating a dramatic look while adding extra coverage and you can easily adjust sizes. See the tutorial in the description for more. And finally, here's a bonus tip. Posting this type of video is a bit nerve-wracking for me because there's always people who say you're beautiful the way you are, so why should you cover up? It's true, I personally believe everybody is beautiful the way they are. But saying you're beautiful the way you are to dancers who sincerely want to hide some imperfections or what they see as imperfections on their bodies is not right to me either. You know what it feels like to expose your arms and belly and legs in front of a large audience only when you become a belly dancer or other type of dancers whose typical costuming requires you to show more of your skin. It's scary as it is to perform belly dancing in front of a large audience but it feels more vulnerable to show so many parts of your body that are normally covered by layers of your clothing and people in the audience have different opinions about these things. And not many people outside of the dancer world truly understand these inner conflicts that we deal with when we present ourselves as, as belly dancers. So when you present yourself as a belly dancer, I want you to feel empowered. I want you to feel proud of who you are and why you do what you love doing. And in doing so, I think wanting to hide imperfections of your body is just part of it. It's like makeup, you want to look your best. But when you dress up for your performance next time, I want you to think about not just what you want to hide, but what you love about your body. Think about what you love to showcase. If you're proud of your legs, put on the skirt with slits. If you're proud of your beautiful hand movements, put on rings and bracelets so audience at the back of the room can see what you're doing. If you're proud of your smile, put on your favorite red lipstick. No one is perfect and that's why we're all beautiful in our own ways. So love your body and try the tips I shared with you today, but don't forget to give your favorite part of your body a chance to shine. Because when it starts to shine, every other part will follow, I promise. So I hope you like my tips and if you did, share love and share this post with your dancer friends. They'll appreciate it. And sign up for my newsletter for more dance costuming tips and DIYs. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!